Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn connection of digital meter. This digital meter I have, through this we can measure voltage and current. I am going to tell you connection of this meter and along with this, we will do some experiment so that we can get some additional knowledge. This meter I have, how to do connection of this meter, before understanding this, let us understand some basic things about this meter. As I told you, through this meter, we can measure both voltage and current. Voltage we measure here will be of single phase only. That is, from 120 volt to 260 volt voltage we can measure here. After this, through this meter, from 1 ampere to 120 ampere current we can measure. Now as I told you, through this meter, we can measure current up to 120 ampere, but we cannot flow the current directly through this. Here we have to use a CT. This is our CT. We have to connect this CT with this meter. Then only this meter will be able to measure current. Now this meter we have, in this meter, there are four terminals. On these four terminals only, you have to do connection of power supply and CT. This meter we have, for connection of this meter, what we have to do, whatever is the phase supply, bring this phase supply and connect with L terminal. After this, neutral power supply which is there, bring this neutral power supply and connect with N terminal. So let us connect this meter with the power source to check. So our meter is on now. You can see right now this meter is showing voltage as 237 volts. It is not showing current because we didn't connect it the CT yet. Only we provided phase supply and neutral supply to this meter. If we want to measure current now, then in this condition we have to connect this CT also. When you look towards this CT, then you will find two wires for connection. One is white wire and one is black wire. Bring this white wire and where K is written, connect this wire with this terminal. And where I is written, connect this black wire with this terminal. So connection of this meter is completed. Right now this meter is showing only voltage, it is not showing current. To measure a current value, I am providing a feedback to this CT. For load, I am using a heater. This plug top you can see here, when we use this, current will be sensed by CT. So what I will do, I am taking a socket. Here I have a socket. With this socket, I am connecting this plug top. Now these two wires here, which I am going to use as phase supply and neutral supply, among these, this phase wire. I am using blue wire as face wire. So I am taking this face wire and I am passing this inside of CT. Now I will connect both these wires with the power source. You can see here in this wire we are getting phase supply. And in this black wire we are getting neutral power supply. Right now you can see here this meter is showing current as 4.4 ampere. It means this water heater is currently taking 4.4 ampere current. Now we will check this CT here. If I connect this with neutral wire, I mean if I pass this neutral wire inside of CT, then in this condition, our meter will show current or not. So I am changing the connection. You can see here, this CT is connected with neutral wire. Okay, right now this CT is connected with neutral. You can see, still this meter is showing current as 4.4 ampere. It means we can connect this CT anywhere with phase supply as well as with neutral supply. Now we will do a short experiment. What we will do, this phase wire here, let us pass this also inside of CT. So I am passing this from inside. So now phase wire and neutral wire, both the wires are now passing inside of CT. Now I will connect this with power source. I turned on the power supply. You can see tester is glowing. Here it is not glowing. Right now you can see meter is not showing current value. It means that phase supply and neutral supply of load, if both are passing inside of CT, then in this condition, meter will not show current value. Why it is not sensing, let's understand. What happen is, if current flows through this wire, then in this condition, a magnetic field is generated. And this magnetic field is sensed by this CT. And through this CT, current is supplied to this meter, and finally this meter display this current. But if we pass both the wires inside of CT, then in this condition, what happen is, magnetic field of phase supply here and magnetic field of neutral supply, they cancel out each other. It means total magnetic field becomes zero. And in this condition, this CT will not be able to sense any magnetic field. This is why it is showing zero current value here. 
So friends, we learn if we want to do connection of meter, then to sense voltage, we provide power supply directly. After this, if we want to measure current, then for this, we have to use CT. Now from inside of CT, we only have to pass phase supply. If you want, you can pass neutral wire also. But from inside of CT, both the wires must not pass together. Only one wire at a time must pass inside of CT. Friends, if you want to know how to do connection of digital DC ammeter and voltmeter, then click on the right hand side video to watch. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.